Um, thank you for coming. And uh, you will see now one of um, the good documentaries, which is made by our friends uh, who are working with us uh, from the beginning and working now. Um, so, mm, this film is uh, all about uh, the period which, which was um, before the prison and uh, during it. And uh, the second one will be uh, about, about now which for us is more important. <laughs> okay, like Bill Maher, uh, I hope you know him. Say, uh, applause costs you nothing, so you can do it. Uh, <laughs> Of course, I, I want uh, to include in this film uh, some, <clears throat> some stuff from our present time. And uh, it's, <clears throat> it's impossible now, uh, because all footage of our present time uh, now uh, belongs to our government. And as you know, we don't have really nice relationships with our government. But uh, right now, you know, oil prices uh, are falling down and uh, probably we will have some political changes in Russia and well, probably in a few years. After some changes, uh, we will have uh, access to this footage and we will uh, do uh, another Pussy vs. Putin uh, with this footage from our prison time. And our prison guards, they filmed everything. Like uh, how we eat, how we take shower. It's not very interesting here, but in prison it can be very nice and interesting. <laughs> and to be honest, none of us has seen this uh, part because earlier today uh, this theater had the screening of Pussy vs. Britain Part 1. And right now it's uh, basically, it's not even a full movie because this movie is still in progress. You'll basically see a small 20-minute cut of what the future movie will look like. And uh, a special thing should be said about the uh, creative film production team which made this movie. Uh, this group is called Gogol's Rives Production. And it's composed of two of our friend directors, uh, Vasily Bogatov and Tasia Pugavik. And they're two very unique people because they're uh, visual artists and filmmakers and uh, they have a very unique ability to film absolutely in any circumstances. For example, uh, probably some of you have seen the Pussy Riot performance and incident in Sochi during the Olympic Games this past February with the Cossacks. And basically, Tasa, the filmmaker, was inside that episode together with the Cossacks with the whips started beating everyone. Mm -hmm. And Tasia is maybe one of the very few filmmakers alive on this planet who's able to not stop filming when a huge man is beating her with a whip. And not only does she keep on filming, but she has strength and stamina to keep on arguing with the man at that moment. So we give our very big praise to their courage and their artistic dedication and we think uh, everything that they do will be a very significant uh, treasure in the future. And we know it takes uh, uh, Also, you you will hear our friends. Uh, they they have two musical bands, and they now working with us. And uh, if if you hear, we now try to learn English because unfortunately uh, nobody speaks Russian here. <laughs> It's sad, but it's reality. Um, and uh, also, we're trying to include uh, some English uh, words and also uh, the themes of uh, West world to our songs. And hopefully, you'll hear 
first one after just three, four days. Uh, we think that it's very good so, and uh, we, we hope you you will also um, think like this. So the two bands which will be on stage right after this movie, they are, are basically our closest creative friends now. So when you listen to them, you can imagine what the future Pussy Riot songs will look like. Because basically right now we're working as one big musical production team and this will bring, we believe, a lot of very interesting results.